Next Week in Wolfboro is underwritten by the Downtown Grill Cafe. The Downtown Grill Cafe is located at 33 Main Street in beautiful Wolfboro, New Hampshire, with a fantastic view of Lake Winnipesaukee and Cape Park. Hours of operations are daily from 7 a.m. until 3 p.m. For more information about this underwriter, check out the website, www.downtowngrill.cafe. Welcome to Next Week in Wolfboro. I'm your host, Will Hunter. We're coming to you on Zoom for Wolfboro Community Television for bringing your community to view. We say thank you to our friends at the Downtown Grill Cafe for underwriting Next Week in Wolfboro. It is through their support and yours that programs like ours are possible in Wolfboro Community Television. If you'd like to underwrite a program for Wolfboro Community Television, please contact our producers at 569-0219. We also want you to let your friends and family from out of town know they can watch this program on Facebook and YouTube. Once you are either logged into Facebook, YouTube, just search for Wolfboro Community Television, and you'll find us on next week in Wolfboro. Okay, let's head right over to the chamber, train station here from Mr. Reeves of the Chamber of Commerce for upcoming programs and events for the weekend. Send it over to you, Mr. DeVries. Hi, and welcome to Next Week in Wolfboro. My name is Mary, and we're ready to uh, get you ready to take part in some things happening in your community. So these are kind of planning ahead, but they do, some of them require registration. So that's why I want to uh, share the information with you now. On April 15th, the Wolfboro Parks and Rec Department is starting their Spring Cornhole Tournament. You can register now, uh, get more information. It's, I think, teams of two, and call 569-5639 for that registration process. And the Wolfboro Friends of Music, they have another virtual concert that they're um, inviting you to participate in. There's no cost, but you do need to require, uh, register, pardon me, so that you have the link to receive uh, the concert. And this time, the concert is Yardbird Temples. They played live in Wolfboro back, I think, a few years ago. Um, it'll be a great time, just a fun live uh, virtual, but they'll be playing live, a uh, show for you to watch right in the comfort of your own home. And what else? Oh, Winnie Derby is coming back this year. So it'll be May 14th, 15th, and 16th with a way station at the Wolfboro Town Docks. And let me see, that phone number is 625-6431. I didn't mention the um, registration for the Yardbird Temple concert, but it's info at W for Wolfboro, friendsofmusic.org. You don't need to remember all that. Either go to wolfboroughchamber.com or give us a call here at the Information Center, 569-2200, and we can help you out. And just one more reminder, uh, being the first Saturday of the month, coming right up uh, on uh, April 3rd, the Wolfboro Farmers Market will be open at 10 o'clock in the morning inside the Brookfield Town Hall. And I think that's it. So remember to shop, dine, and have fun in your town, and we'll see you again. Back to Will at the studio. Thank you, Mrs. DeVries. Here's some things I would like to share with everyone. We'll start with some general information. Registration for the 2021 Kingswood Cower Pin Bay Ruth softball and hardball season is now open at www.kcrbl.com. Anyone with the Wolf Barrel Public Library card, member of the libraries of Ryan Starbus Telescope. And speaking of the library, the Wolfboro Public Library is offering free AARP income tax preparation help by appointment. Submission of filing requirements to the IRS have been extended until May 17th, but don't wait. For more information, please call the library at 569-2428. Applications for financial assistance to Lake Region music students from the Great Water Scholarship Program must be submitted by April 30th, 2021. For more information, please call 569-7710 or find it on the Great Waters website, www.greatwaters.org. On Saturday, April 3rd, School for Air's Farmer's Market will be at Brookfield Townhouse from 10 a.m. until 1 p.m. every first and third Saturday of the month through the end of April. They open up local produce, fresh eggs, milk, meats, baked bread, and much more. They are looking for more vendors. On Sunday, April 4th, 
in the Christian calendar, Easter is celebrated on April 4th this year. Be sure to find all the Easter eggs left by the Easter Bunny, but you don't want to find those over the summer. On Wednesday, April 7th, Wolf Road Children's Center hosts virtual trivia night each week on Wednesdays from 7 until 8 o'clock p.m. For more information, please call 569-1027. On Thursday, April 8th, the Wolf Road Public Library has a virtual children's story time every Thursday at 10.30 a.m. For more information, please call the new children's librarian at 569-2428. Okay, let's send over to the Parks and Recreation Department for an update on upcoming programs and activities. Week ahead, Recreation Director Christine Collins is at her desk. We'll send it over to you, Christine Collins. Thanks, Will. Christine Collins here with Wolfboro Parks and Recreation and just want to share what's happening in our world. So, unfortunately, Abenaki Skiria is closed for the season. We thought we could squeak out some more weekends, but Mother Nature decided to bring spring a little early. And then I'm pretty sure winter is coming back, but unfortunately it ruined our hill. So Abenaki is closed for this se uh, season. So thank you so much for a great season. We're happy to report we did not have to close down due to COVID. Um, we were able to run a successful season um, and I hope you enjoyed it. So hopefully we can get back to the norm, but it was a good season. Uh, that being said, Pop Whale and Ice and Art Center is also closed for the season. Again, another great season. We did not have to shut down due to COVID. Um, so I think all our protocols in place and our staff working really hard. I just want to say a huge thank you to them and a huge thank you to all the patrons who followed the policies and didn't, you know, have any issues with it and were able to make our jobs a little bit easier. So thank you so much. Um, moving on to spring, summer, and early fall programs. So if you've been a fan of Parks and Rec, um, you know that every year we come out with our brochure on April 1st and October 1st. We have all our information in there. Um, so I just want you to be aware that this year will be a little different. We are still creating a brochure this year. It is going to be only available online at first. So you will have the capability of printing it if you want. What I'm going to do is put on the front page, we'll actually have a date there. So you'll always have the most up-to-date program, like the, um, up-to-date version of it. Um, and as we get move into the summer and into the other months, we will see if we are able to print it. Um, my concern is I really don't want to print something if it's not really updated information. I don't want false information out there. And at this point in March, trying to decipher what's happening in August, July, June, a lot of details are ever changing. Um, so we just want to make sure we have the most up-to-date information for you. So for right now, we're going to do a version online. So it will be on our website. And then all of our programs that you can register for will be in our new um, online system. So if you have been with Parks and Rec and you have registered for summer camp for 10 years, you actually have to create a new account. So I know it seems a little tedious, but it's kind of nice to update everything. You know, 10 years ago, you might have had a different phone number, different email. So this is a great opportunity to get all the correct information to us. And then we can make sure we're getting the information to you. The new program we have seems to be a lot easier to maneuver once you understand it. We do have um, some tutorials, I believe, on the left-hand side of our website um, can actually help you. Um, and we're going to work on creating some more because I know some people just need a little bit more assistance, but we're going to get you the help you need so you are able to register yourself. Once you do register yourself, that... Um, system is really awesome. It can create calendars for you to make sure you can see everyone in your family, what they have going on, when they have going on. It will show you what you owe, what um, you paid. So it's, it's kind of a great thing once you maneuver it a little bit. So make sure you create your online account. Starting April 1st, you will be able to register for some programs. And I say some programs because we are slowly adding programs as we get updated information. Um, some of the things we are doing, we might not be able to do the same way. So we're trying to figure out how we can do it safely. So it's just taking us a little bit more time to get that information to you. So as it becomes available, we'll make sure we go on Facebook to a blast. Um, if you are registered in our system, we can do an email blast. So we'll make sure we do that. And then um, just always check our website and that um, virtual brochure. So we'll try to get the information out to you the best we can. Um, but be aware, you know, you might not see the same programs you've obviously seen 
A perfect example would be swim team. That information will not be available right away because we're waiting for a meeting they're having in May for us to figure out how we're going to maneuver that program. So those are the logistics we're waiting on for us to give you the best quality programs we can for the summer. Um, so that's it for now. We hope to see you soon. We're excited for a great summer this year. And back to you, Will. Thank you, Christine Collins. And now we are from the library day. Today, Joyce Davis will be providing our library update. We'll send it over to you, Joyce Davis. Thanks, Will. Hi, I'm Joyce Davis, Adult Services Librarian, back again this week to fill in for Cindy, who's still on vacation. I'd like to tell you about a free online service we have that's available to anybody who has a Wolfboro Library card. It is called Creative Bug. It's easy to set up a free account and enjoy unlimited access to over a thousand instructional videos. Creative Bug has art and craft video classes for adults and kids taught by professional design experts and artists. Choose projects including fiber and paper arts, jewelry making, sewing, quilting, cooking, and home improvement projects. From making a quilt to making soap, painting with watercolors, to holiday decorations, there's something for everyone in Creative Bug and every skill level from beginners to children and experts. I'd like to remind everybody that the Friends of the Library has a special corner in the library for their ongoing book sale. It's always well stocked with hardcover and paperback books for both adults and children. Book prices range from 50 cents to $2, and all proceeds from the sale go to fund library materials, equipment, programs, and services. We're once again accepting a limited number of book donations. We can use books in excellent condition in a fairly recent vintage. Call first, please, if you would like to set up a donation. Are you looking for something fun and new and free for a family activity? Wolfboro card holders can now borrow our Orion Star Blast telescope for a one week period. It's a user friendly telescope and comes with everything you need for a night of stargazing. Call us to reserve your slot. My book pick of the week is Hamnet by Maggie O'Farrell. Set in Stratford, England in the late 16th century, this is a work of fiction about William Shakespeare, Anne Hathaway, their family, and the death of their 11-year-old son, Hamnet. It's the story of a marriage and grief in a what life was like in the 16th century around the time of the Black Plague. Four years after Hamnet's death, the boy's father transforms his grief into his masterpiece titled Hamlet, which is a common variant of his son's name. For me, the most interesting and well-drawn character in the novel is the wife and mother who the author calls Agnes. She's a wonderful invention, a free spirit, and a healer who, like her mother, is most at home in the outdoors and in the woods. By the way, Hamnet just picked up the National Book Critics Circle Award last week. And finally, don't forget, our live virtual preschool story time is happening this Thursday morning at 10.30 and every Thursday morning at 10.30 with Jeannie Snowden, our children's librarian. This week, of course, Jeannie will feature Easter. You can sign up on our website at wolfboro-library.org. Back to you, Will. Thank you, Joyce Davis. Okay. Let's send it over to the Mike and the Haas Sports Desk for the upcoming programs and activities with Kingswood Sports. Send it over to you, Mr. Name, Mr. Hossack. Thanks, Will. All right, so tryouts are going. Yeah, high school tryouts this week, middle school last week. Yeah. And uh, so competition starts April 12th. That's when the first games can start. That's all of New Hampshire, not just Kingswood. Right, so they'll have a couple weeks to get ready to get the teams together, which is exciting. Yeah. So and it looks like we're going to have a real spring season. All right, things are happening. Back to you, Will. Thank you, Mr. Name, Mr. Hossack. Father Cole is with us from St. Catherine Drexel Catholic Church. Hello, Father Cole. We're sending it over to you. Well, Will, thank you once again for having us on for this week at St. Catherine Drexel. And right now, it's noon on Good Friday.
Friday. And anybody who's watching uh, on Channel 25, when, when we're finished, you can get the ecumenical service from All Saints Episcopal Church, uh, and, and it begins at noon, and Reverend Gina is going to be there, Father Bill Peterson from All Saints, and Deacon Rick and myself from St. Catherine Drexel. So you have the First Congregational Church, the Episcopal Church, the Catholic Church, and you can catch it on, the, on your website, on your parish website, uh, the Episcopal website or the Congregation or Catholic website. It's about an hour, but we do this every Good Friday, and this year, of course, it has to be virtual. Uh, you can't be there in person, but certainly be there with us and pray with us uh, in spirit. It's wonderful to get together uh, ecumenically. I, I love it. I certainly do. Now, I do want to mention uh, that tonight, Good Friday at 7 o'clock, here at St. Catherine Drexel, we're going to have the celebration of our Lord's Passion, and it will be the Gospel of St. John, which will be proclaimed. And we, we have uh, the ancient ten petitions that come out of the, the tradition. We pray for the Jewish people. We pray for non-Christians. We pray for those who don't believe in God. Uh, all, everybody's included. No one, no one is left out. And uh, of course, then, then we have the veneration of the cross. And with the COVID virus, we can't kiss the cross or embrace it, but we can bow to the cross, genuflect, but give it honor and give it veneration uh, one at a time. It's a beautiful thing to see. Seven o'clock tonight. And then at the very end, there's no Mass, but we do distribute Holy Communion consecrated yesterday at the Holy Thursday evening Mass. So people leave with the body of Christ receiving it uh, just before they, they go home in silence. We end in total silence. Uh, then, uh, let me mention on Saturday, there's no 4 o'clock Mass because it's the vigil, the vigil of Easter, and so our vigil begins at 7 o'clock in the evening. And Jim and Joan Lawrence have once again donated a beautiful Easter candle. This is the year of St. Joseph, and the candle is a candle honoring St. Joseph. And so uh, we'll be blessing that candle, lighting that candle at 7 o'clock. And then Josh Keaton is going to be uh, singing the Exultet. And then we're going to have readings from the Hebrew scriptures. Then we move into the uh, Christian scriptures uh, with, with Alleluia. Uh, we're going to have three, uh, two uh, young men being confirmed, the sacrament of confirmation, which will be a, a glorious event on, on Saturday night. Uh, and, and of course, uh, the, the vigil, you know, when, 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 when something happens in our country, Someone's killed, and they'll say, they're holding a vigil tonight. That comes from the Christian Easter vigil, where people hold candles. Everybody in the church will be holding a lighted candle in the dark. That's the Easter vigil, the resurrection of Christ. You see, so death lead, leads to life. It really is quite, quite exciting. And, of course, heaven and earth are united. It's heaven all the way to heaven. So then on Easter Sunday morning, two Masses, 8.30 and 10.30. And then the Easter season lasts for 50 days. It's the longest season of the year, much longer than Christmas or Lent or Advent. It's the longest season, and it ends with the Pentecost, the coming of the Holy Spirit, you see. So it's really quite, quite a time. So keep saying and praying, Alleluia, the Lord is risen. He is risen indeed. Also, let me mention, today, Good Friday, begins the Novena. Novena means nine, nine days of prayer. Uh, novena of Divine Mercy, Good Friday all the way to next Saturday, and then next Sunday, the Sunday after Easter, is Divine Mercy Sunday. And so, uh, we have the, uh, at three o'clock next Sunday, we have the Divine Mercy Devotion. It lasts about an hour. You're welcome to come. And we plan to have confessions from 2 to 3 
before the Divine Mercy uh, devotion. So if you haven't picked up one, it's not too late. You can pick it up here on Good Friday and nine days of prayer, uh, getting ready for God's Divine Mercy Sunday. So, Happy Easter, and, and uh, thanks for having us on. Hope to see you soon. Thank you, Father Cole. And thank you for tuning into our weekly program. Remember, there's always something to do in and around Wolfsburg. If you'd like to add an event to our program, please contact Wolfsburg Community Television Station at 569-0219 or send email to wctv25 at gmail.com. We hope to see you at about one. Forward to see you next week. With your eyes and full hearts, I'm Will Hunter, Wolfsburg Community Television, bringing your community to view.